Hey, God bless you, my friend. This is Sister Sharon, and today we are discussing the eternal dangers of fellowshipping in charismatic churches in the 21st century in 2021. Friends, it is dangerous because there is so many people that are teaching that pretty much God is Santa Claus. God is your magic genie. God wants you happy at all times. He wants you to be happy. He wants you to be wealthy. He wants you to have no problems. Everything's coming up roses. Well, friend, let me tell you, it's a lie. God wants you spiritually prosperous through the shed blood of Jesus Christ because of the forgiveness of your sin. And beloved, when you are in a fellowship that is brainwashing you to think that you can, this is the number one doctrine that will bring you into the mindset that God is your servant <laughs> pretty much to give you whatever you want. And their doctrine is prosperity. They have twisted and mutilated scripture. And the number one thing that you will find in a charismatic church, and let us understand in the Greek, the word charisma or to be charismatic is to have a gift, to have, a, it, it's something that attracts people to you and they are able to inspire and influence you to have devotion, not for Jesus, not for his sufferings, not for your divine purpose in Christ, but you are influenced to serve them, to serve the bishop, to serve the first lady, to serve the fake apostle to serve the fake prophet, P-R-O-F-I-T. Your devotion is to these people, my friend. It is to that fellowship. There is no outreach. There is no sincere uh, preaching of sin. There is primarily nothing more than motivating you to be your best self by sowing seed, your money, to these ministries so that, as they say, God can bless you. It's a lie. Now, the scriptures teach us in Acts chapter 20, verse 35, we find this word that it is better to give than to receive. If you are in a fellowship and they are mutilating Mark chapter 4, verse 1 through 20, where Jesus gives the parable of the sower of seed, which is the word of God. It is not cash money. It is not a tithe. It is not an offering. You sow the word of God. You sow the eternal incorruptible word of God, my friend. And sometimes when it is sown, it falls on good ground. It falls on th thorny ground, beloved. But when you are in these false brainwashing charismatic church groups, they are teaching you that Jesus was teaching about sowing your money and God is going to do this, that, and that, and that, and that. It's a lie. Because this is a fact, there are masses of people who are afraid that if they don't have money to give, that God will curse you. God will be angry with you. Friends, listen and hear me very closely. If you are in a charismatic church, you're going to find a lot of pageantry, a lot of synergy through music. Music is a very intricate staple in these types of charismatic church groups. You find the misuse and the abuse of speaking in tongues. You find them very overt where you usually find the particular leader that that group is surrounded by, that personality within that fellowship. You will find them 
oftentimes using prophecy as the draw. That's the, that's the charisma. That's that gift that they are operating to draw people in because people are desperate. People are hurting. People are in pain. And they will tell you to step into that money line. Friends, don't believe the hype. God wants your heart. He wants you to present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto him. If you are in any type of fellowship that is teaching you to give money to get blessed, run for your life. God is not our magic genie. He is not our Santa Claus. He is not our bank where we go in and make an investment and we're expecting our money to grow. Friends, you are being deceived if that's what you're doing. I encourage you as I close this exhortation, Acts chapter 20, verse 35, Mark chapter four, verse one through 20, I encourage you to go there and study what Jesus was really talking about, sowing the seed of the word, challenging your fellow man to come out of sin and, and, to, and for us to walk and turn away from willful sinning against God. Friend, I believe enough is said. Study Mark chapter four for yourself. Till next time, understand when you are brainwashed, you are usually captivated by the one that has taken you captive when it comes to doctrine and indoctrination. And you will know, my friend, because you have placed your entire walk with knowing God around nothing but money. And how much you're going to give to the preacher every week, every month. Beloved, in the words of Christ, let no one deceive you. Enough said. Till next time. God bless.